Guys, that's it for my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I absolutely enjoyed doing this. It was a task that I've been meaning to do, and I thought, why not film it if I can actually get the work done? So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Welcome back to Brit's Book Corner. Today's video is going to be a clean and organize my bookshelf with me. showed you guys what my bookshelf looks like and I feel like I have needed to do this for a long time and I just haven't done it. I get into the habit of buying new books and not finding room for them so they get piled. I get like I keep hats and gloves and stuff for my kids on my bookshelf and I just feel like it's time for me to clean my bookshelf so I'm going to take you guys along with me on this journey of me cleaning my bookshelf. guys so I didn't think it was gonna take me that short amount of time to actually do that I did the bulk of it so it's done it's organized let me show you what I have So this first shelf has my Harry Potter books, my Divergent books, Twilight, Hunger Games, the games novels from Jessica Clare, lots of Nora Roberts, the Crossfire series. All of those books are on this first shelf because those are my favorites. Second shelf down has the Fifty Shades series, the Sons of Destiny series, the two books from the Cleveland girls that were kidnapped. Um, you know, more series, and then the rest is just all of my taller, bigger books. These books, I don't like to kind of pair next to shorter books. I feel like they kind of look a little haphazard that way, so I feel like this setup is better for that. Third shelf down is my paranormal romance shelf. So this is basically the um, J.R. Ward series, Black Dagger Brotherhood. Followed by just Cressley Cole, lots of Lindsay Sands, Jane Ann Krentz. I kind of wanted to have all of my paranormal romances on one shelf just because if you notice, all of the books are pretty much dark. And I just like that, you know, kind of color scheme. So this next shelf has my historical romance books on it. There's Joanna Lindsay, Tessa Dare. Then it moves into um, a few more of my Nora Roberts series and Linda Lil Miller and a few other books. I did this because I wanted to have the whole shelf filled, but I don't have a lot of historicals. So once I get the rest of my historicals in, this will change. The last shelf doesn't have very many books on it, but it's got quite a few different kinds of books. It's got lots of contemporary, some paranormal, and then some of my bigger books because, like I said, I ran out of room on other shelves, and this shelf was just the natural selection for the next. The books don't go all the way over to the corner yet. They should, but here's the last shelf. Now here's a full overview of the shelf. Don't mind the upper shelf there, that's still disorganized. But this is what it looks like, and I actually like this dynamic. I think I just need to tweak a few things. That's it for my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I absolutely enjoyed doing this. It was a task that I've been meaning to do, and I thought, why not film it if I can 
actually get the work done. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.